No ma'am. No ma'am. Eggs and ham. No ma'am. Good morning, you guys. What's up? Welcome back to Vlogtober Day 13. 13. Yo, my brain is so mad for what this morning. I like the new hairdo. Thanks to my girl. Always thinking about me. Even in moments where she could be super selfish. She's always thinking about me and coming through. Because she know your girl love her hair. Love my hair to be done. She caught a little deal, y'all. And she say, ooh. My cousin, I like this. Sure, we on. So she came through for you, girl. I mean, this traffic, y'all. Like, Jesus. Too much going on. Oh, they go. It's doing a little too much. Got to blur me out. I ain't that dark. I got a little chocolate in me, but I was a little caramel. <laughs> anyway, y'all, I ain't doing too much this morning. Um, probably, honestly, and truthfully, yeah, I'm cute. And I could probably go get into some things. I want to go check out some things at the grocery store or whatever. Because we're supposed to be going to pick up pumpkins today. Me and Sheldon. But <clears throat> he low key wants to go so he can pick out his own pumpkin. And I don't I don't blame him. You know, I'm particular about my pumpkins too. You feel me? <laughs> but um, yeah, so I don't know. I'll probably just wait until he gets home at eleven thirty, twelve ish, whatever time they drop off. But we having a rough one this morning, y'all. Don't let these high spirits fool ya. She just promised us that she wasn't gonna come back off your crime. You feel me? Baby, if you turn and turn. Ooh, they get over by the school, y'all. And they act like they don't. It's either by the school they act like they don't know how to use a four way. Is that a four way they act like they don't know how to use it? Or when the lights go out, they act like they don't know how to use it. Maybe that's the common denominator. People don't know how to use a four way. They, they so used to everything they given to them here. They barely know how to use the traffic lights. What I'm talking about. Yellow means slow down. They speed on through the light. But anyway, so I'm probably just going to go and finish paying this light bill. I need to be checking to see if my apartment manager is back in because, baby, or see if the maintenance man in so I can try to fill out a maintenance report because I've been having some toilet issues, y'all. And at first, it just started off with it was just making a little noise, so it wasn't too much bothering me. You know, I can go in there and wiggle the handle a little bit, and it would just stop making a noise. Oh, God! And people almost caused a wreck. They, people would just throw their lives in danger for no apparent reason just so you could turn. Oh my God. But anyway, like I was saying, you know, I had been jiggling the handle when quarantine was happening or whatever. And now that that's over, I am guess I'm going to get with the maintenance man and see if he's allowed to come in, whether she back or not. Because now it just started leaking, y'all. And I'm thinking that's why my light bill was... That, that's the whole point that I was trying to get to, y'all. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, uh, I think that's why it's leaking. I mean, that's why my light bill is so dog high. It's because my toilet is leaking. And y'all, the truth be told, that toilet leaking made my light bill, y'all. Go up to almost three. I'm knocking at 300 dough. If I sneezed or 40, y'all, I was going to lose $300. Straight up. Because of a toilet. So that kind of set me back for the month. 
because that was like an extra, I think after we calculated, it was like an extra 30 something dollars, 30, 40 dollars. No ma'am, no ma'am, eggs and ham, no ma'am. Shoulda didn't sleep at all last night, y'all, like, I guess today while we at the store, I'm gonna have to look into some melatonin or something because the doctor did give us permission to not only <clears throat> do the clonidine, that's what he's on for his sleeping and stuff to help him sleep. He's supposed to take one in the morning and one before bedtime. But we started running into the problem of him not sleeping at night, but sleeping during the day at school. So we pulled back on the one in the morning, that way to give, you know, get in his system. Well, that's why we was doing it in the morning, so he can get in his system. But now we've, we've had to switch it up again and stop doing the one in the morning. So he'll stay awake and alert during school. So he only been taking the one at night and that wasn't working. He wasn't sleeping. He was, it was just too much. So the doctor gave us, gave me permission to give him the um, added Benadryl. Cause you know, you can't be mixing too much stuff y'all. You, you can't, you can't mix stuff like that. All the medicines, you have to be very weary and very careful about what you're doing when you're mixing that stuff. And, um, my child to be out here just doped out you know what i'm saying just so out of it because he owns so much so i ended up y'all want to go to the arts and crafts festival with me that's coming up this weekend mm, i have to give a rush on this way to see what she doing okay ma'am Baby girl, I was about to get hot. Huh. But yeah, so anyway, he told me we could use the Benadryl and um or at no, what it was, we added the melatonin. Well, the melatonin worked for maybe maybe a month, and then it was almost like he got immune to it, like he got used to it. I don't even know what to call it, immune. Uh, used to it, um, overpowered it, whatever you want to call it, but he was not sleeping. It would seem like I give it to him at night, and what I would do is I would let him take his bath, and when he's taking his bath, you know, well, before he takes his bath, I would give it to him to take. And what ended up happening was, you know, he would go to sleep and stuff, but then it started to get to the point where it was like, he would take the bath, y'all. He would take the melatonin, take the bath. And then it's like it gave him a boost of energy. It went reverse. So we stopped doing the melatonin for a while. And then when I started noticing that it was getting out of hand and he wasn't sleeping, I put him back on the melatonin. It's like we had to keep stopping and starting, stopping and starting until finally I, um... I asked the doctor, I went to the doctor about it. I'm like, look, ain't nothing you giving him for sleep working. And so that's when he taught us to try the Benadryl. Been doing the Benadryl, y'all. It, it has, it's been working. Depending on when you give it to him now. Because it, it seems like it be taking longer and longer to kick in and work. So, yeah, anyway. I think we starting to run out of options on that one. All right, y'all. I'm big. Oh, sis is cute. Okay. Get her little fall here. Okay, okay. Sorry about that. Y'all, I told y'all, I be getting distracted. That's why I can't have no set channel, y'all, because... I be all over the place. It be a lot that inspire me sometimes. And now that I'm getting used to this thing, like, I'm 
just about to start letting my freak flag fly in, honey. But anywho, in the meantime, in between time, I done got that light bill finished off. I ain't had to pay but 50 more dollars, y'all, but that was 50 more dollars I didn't have. Because it's like, after I pay bills, where well, I did end up yesterday, was it yesterday? But I ended up, um, me and my mom had a conversation for almost two hours, y'all, the other day. Sis was coming through with the info, y'all. But yeah, I, um, I downloaded this app she was telling me about because I'm trying to get my finances in order and see what I got where it's going, what's important, what's not important, because, sucker, can you go, ma'am, whatever you is, didn't even have a signal light on, like, anyway, because I'm like, you know, we get this set amount of month, and so far I've been doing good, y'all, like, like I say, that little extra $50, or 30, however you want to look at it, 30, 40 dollars. That did something to me. That, that hurt my little pockets, y'all. I'm sorry. But it did. I, I'm on a set income right now. But that's alright, because I got some things in the works. So your girl finna get busy. to get busy because it's things that I want to do and I can't keep rolling into the second week of the month and stressed out because stressed out but then not stressed out because I'm like dang I ain't got no funds coming in this is it like but then at the same time, I'm happy because I'm like, okay, the bills are taken care of, honey. What did you worry for? You ain't worried about, you ain't got to worry about nobody coming here cutting you off. You ain't got to worry about, oh my God, they going to put me out of my house because I can't afford this. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to worry about all that. And I'm going to pull y'all right here in the sun. I'm at the store, y'all. I'll be right back. See y'all, let me come out here and talk to y'all real quick. Glaring off, sometimes it pays to be kind. Sometimes it pays to be kind. Because you never know who looking out for you or who, who, who got your back. And sometimes it be the people you least expect. Now, y'all say, Charlene, why you come out here with this? Because, y'all, I give God thanks for all the blessings, all the little blessings. You know, I can't put that wrong one. My bad, sis. But she knew. She looked me up. But anyway, mini story time. Show y'all how God work. So... Y'all know I stopped at this store, right? Of course, getting me some cigarettes. No cap, all true. Told y'all, I'm letting my freak flag fly. I mean, smoking cigarettes is one of my one of my things that I do, whether good or bad. Oh God, what's up with these people and they driving this morning? So anyway, y'all. I was waiting on this sheriff to move, y'all, because he was all up in my face. Anyway, so I'm in the store. I grab, I decided, and I was in there for the cigarettes, but I decided to grab me a Powerade. Because, you know, I get burnt out on water all the time. See? Got me a Powerade. Got me a pack of cigarettes. And I can't open it. Mr. Sheriff, come back. I need him. I need your assistance. Baby, your girl. 
It was parched. So anyway, back to my story. So I was waiting in line or whatever, and if y'all from here, that is my bug. Anyway, if y'all are from here, y'all know the bell. I ain't even gotta say no more than that. If y'all from here, whether you black, white, Asian, Chinese, Mexican, whoever, if you are from Nacogdoches, you know the bell is, baby. Look, no father. She comes off up in there. And she always look at me like her niece. Even though I'm not her niece, but one of her nephews is my cousin. Long story. Matter of fact, the cousin I was talking about that we was crushing on each other and mama broke out of the heart and told us we were kin people. Yeah, that cousin. He, uh, his, he, that's his Amy. So anyway, so she's always, every time she see me, I don't know if she do my brother like that, but she's always looked at me like I was her niece. Why, well, I don't know. I guess because I get up there and I clown with her. <laughs> True be told. Maybe because I just clown with her and, you know, I, you know, people say what they want to say about the bill or whatever, but I love her. She, she is who she is and she don't care what you got to say or what you think about her. You feel me? But anyway, she comes up in the... And she clowned it as per usual. And um just sitting there clowning or whatever. And it just, I don't know. I, my mind was somewhere else. But, you know, I feel like because I do interact with her. But she's, that's going to show y'all. People be misjudging her. But she she's so sweet. She's so kind. If Orabelle cuss you out or um, she get mad at you for whatever reason you had to have done something that really low key ticked her off for her to be disrespectful to you you know what I'm saying but she ain't never disrespect me she ain't never came to me sideways but I'm sitting there I done paid for the stuff y'all done put my car see that them chips be messing me up y'all <laughs> I done put the card up in there and I paid for the stuff to grab. What normally happens is I normally take my card out and I just leave the receipt. But instead, I grabbed the doggone receipt, y'all, because that girl was on it. She was on it. I don't be having time to be sitting there waiting. But I grabbed the receipt, grabbed my stuff, y'all, walked out the store. And as I'm getting in the car, I hear, baby, you left your card. That's the bell. She said, baby, you left your card in the machine. I said, oh, Lord. She brought me my card. And now, mind you, Orbel was up in there hustling, y'all. She was hustling. <laughs> so she could have missed out on her hustle for trying to help me. You know, we know the inside joke. We know what happened while we was in there. But anyway, she could have almost missed her little blessing fooling with me because I left my dog on card. But just that easy, y'all. She could have took my card and kept on going. True enough, I could turn it off. And I ain't got but, what, $20 on there. But to her, baby, she could have did something with them $20. Anybody could make something shake with $20. You feel me? But it's just the fact it show you. If it probably been anybody else, they probably wouldn't have told me I love my card. They probably would just took my card and kept on kicking. I'm just riding around, y'all. But yeah, it's just that's why I say it pays to be kind of people because I could act like I don't even know that woman. I could just keep on going like hey and keep it moving. I ain't even gotta hold no conversation with you at the end of the day. Like I could really be rude, but I'm quite sure she get a lot of people turning their noses up at her. And I'm not finna be one of them. You know what I'm saying? I'm not finna do it. I'm not finna mistreat nobody all because of assumptions. You feel me? Because I'm quite sure it's a lot of people out there who make assumptions about me and don't even know me. Point blank. I know a few people right now who have come to me over the years and they like, man, I didn't fool with you back in the day because I thought you was mean. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, really? No, that's the facade I can put on because, you know, first I got to get to know you. I'm not finna let my boy down for you, and I don't know you like that. So, I'm really thinking.
music in my place is low key shut down. Dang. But anyway, you know, people judge me, prejudge me all the time. And I'm quite sure when I go in the stores and stuff, I be looking all scrunched up in the face. I know I do. Because that's my way of saying unapproachable. <laughs> that's why I say if I do, if my. I wonder if my daddy has to. So I just passed by my dad's job, y'all. Them linemen trying to get to work, baby. Shout out to our linemen. Y'all wonder why I be shouting out the linemen. That's why my dad is a part of the linemen crew. Been doing it for who God? Yes. <laughs> he been doing it for years, you guys. He's hoping to retire from that job. That's how long he's been doing it. <laughs> but yeah, you know, I, people had a pre perceived notions about me as well. And some of it is forced because I, I force it. You know, and I feel like if my YouTube does happen to grow, you know, and then people want to approach me, I have to soften myself to welcome that in. But I'm just, I get that from my mom. So honestly, I, I honestly do. Like, we're very shielded people because, for one, I don't like nobody in my space unless I welcome them in. You know what I'm saying? Like, I used to not, and I'm going to be honest, I used to not be a hugger. Some of y'all from back in the day know. I used to not be a hugger at all. I used to have people hug me. Because I, I remember my mama telling me that you can't hug everybody. Because you pick up on other people's spirits and, and, and stuff. And I, mm -mm, I don't want to pick up your nasty ass evil spirit. You hugging me out of fake love and I done picked up all that hatred. No. Keep that over there. I don't want it. What the sign say? Shake, shake, shake. Shake the devil off. Like, you just make me want to shake it off. You know? Like, I just... I, I like... I like if... If, if you want to speak to me and show some love... Hey, girl! Hey! <laughs> hey! Speak! Show me any... Show it to me in your way, girl. Let me feel it. From a distance. See coronavirus? The whole quarantine situation, that was a blessing for me. Oh, uh, so we can't have no visitors? Six feet apart? Hallelujah. Thank you. Because I don't like people in my space. All right, y'all. I done made it back home. I done filmed some more stuff, but that video was getting kind of long. So I'm going to cut it in half. For today, y'all going to get two videos. Um, I'm in the process of editing the first part. Y'all hit that train. I'm sorry. Um, but I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm gonna upload part two probably a little later because, um, I, I got a message for somebody out there. I don't know who you are, what you're going through, your situation. I don't know. But in the process of me just talking and being one with y'all, somebody fell on my heart. Like I said, I don't know who. Um, this is not directed to any specific person. It's directed to specific person. And if you happen to grab something from it, kudos. Um, but I just wanted to come on here and close this part out. Because sis was getting in there. And it was just, it was getting too long in the editing process, you guys. So, I just want you all to stay blessed up. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share with your people so they can share with their peoples. And in the meantime, in between time, I holla.